I mean, Zeke's start this year, you know, what's, what's been the difference for him? Um, I just think he looked at it, uh, his performance from a year ago and performance in the past and kind of just reverted back to some of those things he did early in his career. You know, I think he, um, I think he leaned up a little bit, um, came back in a little bit better shape, I think, for training camp. And just focused on being more disciplined, I think, in the running game. That's what I think has helped him a little bit more this year than he did last year. He's a little lighter. He's a little lighter. You know, and he, he worked hard in the offseason to get in shape, and I think that helped. I mean, obviously, it's a, it's a long season. But um, as far as anything drastically totally different, I wouldn't say he's really changed anything. He hasn't really changed his running style. No, I don't think he's changed his running style. I don't really see it that way. Um, I think when you look at some runners, I think maybe their patience become a little bit different. They don't try to create big runs. They let them happen. I think he's letting them happen. Like, um, you know, like obviously week one, it was going to be a, a dirty run game. I mean, they weren't going to let us run the ball. Tampa wasn't going to let us run it. And uh, we kind of explained that to them. I mean, so don't be surprised if it's not a big day because, I mean, that's the structure of their defense. Other games are going to be different. But um, I think the willingness to just sit back, let it happen, run within the system of the offense, I think has really helped him. How much, when these guys go work with other, you know, you work with Josh Hicks this offseason, how much do you say, or, or do you want to know, hey, what are you doing with them? So if jives with what you guys want them to do, do they, does Zeke reach out to you and tell you I'm doing this stuff too? Or? No, they send me videos of what they're doing. Yeah. And um, mainly I think to just make sure that they're doing something. But I mean, no, yeah. I mean, they all have something that they would want to, work on I mean whether it's the cutting ability whether it's you know a jump cut or just foot quickness or change of direction I mean all those things I think help but um for the most part I think the camaraderie of the guys in my opinion working together because I know a lot of those guys got together and worked together this off season and throughout the summer and um when you have opportunity to do that I think it helps obviously work together as far as things that we do here but obviously, I mean, little things that they may want to tweak in their own repertoire, it helps improve that. That's the beautiful part, because he and Pollard work together. Here. Exactly. Yeah. He has an ego, I don't want, you know, I'm trying to keep you away. But no, 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 they got, a, they got a great relationship. They work each other, work good together. They, uh, they push each other. And I mean, and, and, I mean they, they, they pull for each other when each other's in the game. And then obviously we have some sets where they're both in there at the same time, which is, I um, mean, a lot of fun to watch because sometimes, you know, Tony will motion out, Zeke will carry. Sometimes Zeke will motion out, Tony will carry. And then there's sometimes Zeke's got a block for Tony, you know. And um, so, I mean, the, that area, I don't think either one of them are any uh, selfish in that matter. I mean, they're, they're very excited for each other when they have success. They cheer each other on during the game. Um, they watch each other, you know, when one looks like they're tired. I mean, obviously, they, they all want to play, you know, and hey, he's, not, he's, not, he's looking like he's tired. He might need to come out. No, 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 I'll give him another play. But, but I mean, I think, um, just the, um, the ability of them both knowing the system now, being in it for a couple of years together, I think that's something that's really helped. I mean, you, you know, I mean, that's a decision I think. Uh, no, no, I saw it. I saw it. But like I told him, I said, a lot of times, you know, certain plays are designed to obviously you got to be a runner. You got you to find and feel your way to obviously get to the open area. But I say sometimes I think you can utilize your speed more than you think. You know, I mean, he, he's, if you look at most of his runs, he's, he's going to stretch it and he's going to try to get vertical and try to get north and south and get going. But some plays I think it's utilize your speed to get around the end. And I mean, you run those type of fly sweeps and those edge runs, I mean, you're trying to circle the defense and trying to get outside of them and just run away, especially if you're in a low, low red, you might be able to outrun them to the yeah, pylon. Well, I mean, we going into the game, we know they're going to both play. I mean, that isn't that isn't been the issue. The issue is this. I mean, you obviously got to take a look at the tempo of the game, how its game's going. Um, Zeke's going to probably get the bulk of it, but Tony's going to get a, a, a big piece of it as well. And uh, I mean, you try to keep it where he doesn't get wore out in a long, extended drive. Try to see that if it's, a, I mean, a 10-play, 12-play drive, he may get the first seven, and then Tony comes in for the next three, you know. But um, 
if it's if it's a series where he's not really doing a whole lot of running or not a lot of physical punishment as far as pass protection or anything like that, he may go a couple plays more. You know, Zeke I'm talking about. But um, at the end of the day, you kind of want him to be at around a 60-40, 65, 35 versus range in the, throughout the end of the game. So you try to manage the numbers through the course of the game, but you also got to get a feel of how they're doing at that time, you know. Like, I mean, last week he was a little tired. He was a little sore. I mean, ribs were sore. So Tony at times had to go in there, you know, probably a little bit more. Yeah, last drive, I think. Last drive. Yeah, yeah he, he got hit one play and came out and, you know. By our sideline? Yeah. yeah. They're both on pace for 1,000 yards. Is that doable in this day and age? How much throwing goes on? Is that sustainable? Or? I mean, it'd be rare. I mean, I haven't seen that in a, in a while. But um, I think the one thing that they're both doing is um, I think they're complementing each other in the running game when you um, you have two different style of runners. I mean, I've always felt that that's, that's a successful run game because you have one guy that's a pounder, but he also has the ability to make big plays and break big runs. Then you have a guy that's faster, quicker, that presents a little bit different I guess perception to the defense. Um, kind of, I mean, you guys probably remember this, but it's kind of a, like a Marion and Felix or a DeMarco and Felix. You know, one guy's in there and he's, he's pounding, pounding, pounding. And as a lot of people say, he's doing the dirty work, but he's not really doing it. He's, he's running the ball. And then the other guy comes in and he has a little bit different style. Well, the defense sees that style then all of a sudden their angles get kind of confused because they're used to seeing Zeke run that play. They take an angle to come and make the tackle, and then all of a sudden the guy's a little bit quicker and he's a little bit further up the field, then the angles get messed up. So. Do you do anything with McGovern at this fullback stuff? No, we, we give him the ball. You want us to hand him, hand him the ball? No, no, we talk about it, but I mean, it's not really much different than, you know, an offensive lineman. When they're pulling and going to block a, a second level linebacker, it's really the same thing. You obviously got to approach, sink your hips, strike with your face and hands. So, um, I mean, he's doing a good job at that. I mean, he, he, he's embraced that, that role, and I think he's done a good job at it. Uh, yeah, everybody wants the ball. I mean, everybody wants the ball. But we got to find out a way of getting some plays in for him where we obviously maybe throw it to him or hand it back.